watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today I'm going to be doing a case knife review but before I get into that I want to give a shout out to Patty's Potato Pillars. Patty and I just recently did a sticker swap. Uh, unfortunately uh, it took longer than it probably should have. I don't know why we didn't connect earlier. We've known each other quite a while now. And uh, Patty's got a probably one of the larger knife channels on YouTube over 11,000 subscribers so he's doing quite well with it if you haven't already checked out Patty's channel you should does tons of traditional knife reviews and uh, has some great content over there some stuff that you won't easily find in the United States he is over in Northern Ireland so yeah just a really interesting channel and a really interesting fella so go check out Patty's potato pillars Okay, so let's get into the review, and what we've got is the item number 220, pattern number 22087SS. So, <clears throat> what that is is the medium jack. I don't have a box for it, so I show you this little post-it note instead, uh, so you can guys see the, the model number and so forth. But, I got this used on eBay. It was about $33, I think, to the door. Normally, uh, they cost $48, $49 before shipping. So I thought that was a pretty decent price for it, as good a condition it was as in. This one's from 2016. I'll show you that tank stamp in a minute, but uh, just has some minor scuffing on the handle, like maybe it had been carried a little bit, but uh, don't really think they used the blades. I mean, the blades look pretty much original. No scratches on them or anything, so maybe the fellow who carried it before me just found no reason to use it. Maybe that's why they sold it. But... In any case, this is the medium jack. It measures three and three eighths inches, closed. We've got black Delrin handles, nickel silver bolsters on either end, and then the case shield. That's an oval shield with like an oval inside of it, the block case font. So a little different from a lot of the other case knives that I have, the more recent ones that just have like the case XX inside the oval there. A little different there. Again, this one was made in 2016. Got brass liners, stainless steel springs, and gapping is pretty minor. I don't really see anything major there. So, looks pretty good. I think this is kind of before um, Case started getting into some of the production issues that people started making comment about. I don't know. Maybe it's right around the same time frame, but this one looks good, so I'm happy with it. But you can see that uh, that synthetic smoothed out really nicely. Nice glossy finish on it now. Pretty classy looking knife, I think, in the black. Gives it a very gentlemanly feel to it. Again, it's three and three eighths closed. We'll take a look at the two main two blades here. So here's the main blade. Satin finish on it. Just your Standard type of nail nick there. Pretty well placed, easy to reach. You can see there's the blade edge. I've not done anything to it. This is how it came. Looks pretty decent. Nice little satin grind on there. Flat grind on the blade. There's a look at the blade stock. And then the pattern there, or the tank stamp. Let's take a look at that. So you've got two X's at the top, and then two X's at the bottom below the case logo, and that indicates it's a 2016. Four X's left. Good snap on the blade, good pull on it. Say it's about a seven and a half pull. So just pretty much ideal. Really nice snap on the main blade. Pretty happy with that. For a smaller knife, that's really good. Great shape to the little clip point blade there. We've got a measure of about two and five eighths total length, and then the cutting edge about two and an eighth. 
So really good pull, good snap, good action. Nice looking little clip point blade. All right, let's look at the secondary blade. So the nail nick's on the back side. And of course it's a jackknife because both blades are pivoting at the same end. And you get this wonderful little pin blade here. And we'll look at the blade edge on that one and the grind. Pretty even across there. Not too shabby. And there's your nail nick. Satin finish. A little bit of a hollow grind on this one. And there's your pattern number. It says USA 22087 and then USA below it. Again, the snap on this one is pretty consistent with the other blade. It's nice to call it a 7.5. Good lock up on that. Now it's a smaller knife, you know, with it only being three and three eighths. So that back finger is going to come off of there for me in a natural position. Uh, and just kind of tails off the back side, pushes against the butt as you curl your finger around. And then the other three fingers grip. So you have a very comfortable grip on it. Very confident grip. There's no hot spots from the opposite blade. When we have it with the secondary blade out, let's try it with the main blade out. And it just pretty much goes all the way away with the pin blade in there. So that's a super comfortable knife to use. And yeah, I can see uh, that being a really good EDC knife. Great size for that. Let's see how it fits in the Rough Rider small slip. I'd say that's just about ideal. Maybe comes out a little bit more than I'd like to see. It's kind of in between sizes. A medium slip might be a little better fit if you want it completely unexposed, but let's write it like I say, right at that three and three eighths of arc, it starts to get a little bit big. If it was three and a half, it'd probably be ideal. So maybe move up to a medium slip with this one. But uh, yeah, great little knife. I'm just very happy to have picked up another case pattern that I didn't own for fairly cheap. I know it's not a very exotic handle or anything like that, but in terms of just the knife quality and the, the pattern shape and the blade action and all that, uh, just really nice overall fit and finish on this one you don't have any you know stepping or anything all the pins are nice and smooth that shields well inlaid same on the back everything's nice and smooth don't really have any uh, rough edges on the springs or anything like that mirror polished everything just really well done what you would hope for from a case you know but it just shows you, you can get a good knife from Case for not a whole lot of money. You know, it's black synthetic and the yellow synthetic. All the synthetics that they make are usually pretty affordable when you can find them. And then, of course, this one being used, got a little even better break. Just no box, I guess. So if you're a box collector, maybe that's a, something you frown on. But in any case, here you go again. Here's the number, it's item 220. Pattern 22087. This is the medium jack. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my review. Make sure you hit that like bell. Make this video widespread and wide viewed. Help me out. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so and hit the notification bell to make sure you're made aware of any videos that come out after the fact. And we'll see you next time. Take care.